Hey, it's Don Skaggs again with Empowered Inventing. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about something that if you've been to any of our meetings and workshops here in Kentucky or if you've uh, uh, been on any, uh, uh, done any of our online classes or uh, been in any of our online meetings, you've probably heard me say this because we do say it a lot uh, around the Inventors Council and Inventors Network Kentucky and that is nobody wants to dance with the wallflowers. And this is so true because I see so many inventors out there that just, they get all dressed up for the prom, they have their corsage, uh, they have, uh, you know, they've, they've rented the limo, and, you know, the hall's been rented, the orchestra's in engaged, now it's time to see if you can dance, and then you stand along the walls. And that's the problem. That's the problem that I see. Now, in Malcolm Gladwell's book, What the Dog Saw, which, by the way, if you've not read any of Malcolm Gladwell's books, uh, there's a lot of really, really good ones out there. And this is one particular, uh, one really uh, particularly good one, What the Dog Saw. Uh, because in this book, he interviews Ron Popeil. Now, if you don't know who Ron Popeil is, he is the inventor. He's a serial inventor, serial entrepreneur, and of the many inventions that he's had, uh, he's also a, a commercial pitchman, uh, and, but it's usually his products. And one of the products in particular that uh, Malcolm Gladwell focuses on in this book with this interview is what, uh, what one of his famous products called the Showtime Rotisserie. And this is that rotisserie oven that if you've, if you've ever seen him on late night TV, you've probably seen this. He's got a famous line, set it and forget it. And people will look at these and they made fun of these commercials and they thought they were just all cheesy. Well, Ron Popeil sold $2 billion of just this one product, $2 billion. Yes, that's a billion with a B. Now, one thing that Ron Popeil said, he said you can't separate marketing from product development. He called them the, the left and the right feet and you can't walk without them. And if you think about it, that just makes a tremendous amount of sense. I wished I'd have thought of this. Uh, because really, if you want to walk and you want to move forward, you have to have that left and that right foot. You have to have the product development, and then you also have to have that marketing part. That's what helps you propel forward. One pulls the other one forward. Ron Popeil says that in order for the product to be successful, they both have to work, both that left and that right foot. Because it's one thing to have a great idea and turn it into a product. It's another one to be able to answer that question, is this going to sell? And Ron Popeil would do that. And a lot of inventors and entrepreneurs, they just, they get all, like I said before, they get all dressed up for the prom, they show up at the dance, and they think, okay, I'm here. Everyone flock to me. I'm gonna stand over here by the wall. And nothing happens. And the sad thing is, is that I see way too many inventors that that actually happens to, where they'll just come in, they, uh, they don't realize that if I build it, they will come, only works in, in uh, Kevin Costner movies, and they stand there and they never get to dance because nobody asks them and they don't ask anybody else because they're just standing along the wall. Now, that's why we say nobody wants to dance with the wallflowers. Don't be a wallflower. Well, you got your, you've, you've made all, done all this preparation. You've uh, protected yourself in a real smart, uh, uh, frugal way. You have uh, uh, built your prototype. You've proven that it works. You've developed a demo type, the nice pretty version that you can demonstrate well. You're ready to get out there and hit the floor, but you've got to get out there and cut the rug. You've got to interact with people. You've got to get out there on the dance floor and dance. And that is what attracts other people. Then they're like, Ooh, who, who's that? What's he doing? What's she up to? Then people will see and want to dance with you. I've seen it happen many times in business 
where people stand along the wall, nothing happens, they get out there on the floor, maybe they trip, maybe, they, maybe they're, they're not perfect at it, but they learn and they get good at it. By the way, you gotta learn how to dance, but you get out there and you learn how to dance, and you're out there on the floor and people see you. You've got to be able to be seen. Why? Because nobody wants to dance with wallflowers. Well, the auditorium is full and the band is getting ready to play. Now it's time for you to decide whether you're going to stand along the wall or if you're going to get out there and dance. I'm Don Skaggs. This is Empowered Inventing. I hope these videos are helpful. I hope they're encouraging. I hope they're motivational. I hope they're educational. I hope you learned something. If you did, be sure and share this with someone else you think might, this might benefit, somebody else this might help. Uh, share it with some people. Uh, be sure and subscribe if you're watching us on YouTube. Hit that notification bell. And I will look to see you at the next meeting, workshop, class. We do all those things or on the next video.